Lindo has a new attitude. Welcome to the Fairways, located in Fairway Estates. In today's video, we will not just be seeing one, but two models by D.R. Horton. And watch until the end as we reveal the deals available in this community. Stay tuned. Well, hello there, guys. We are in the newest community in Prince George's County, hailing in the city of Glendale, Maryland. We are at the Fairway Estates, the Fairways of D.R. Horton. And this community is so new. Watch this. <laughs> Guys, I am showing you tons of home sites and I'm getting ready to take you on a home tour. This is love and, and real, real estate. estate. Hi, my name is Amanda. My name is AD. And we run a local real estate company called the Dapo Group. Every week, we're gonna take you into communities, restaurants, and experiences in DC and the surrounding areas. Just think of us as your personal real estate agents. Enjoy the show. Hi guys, welcome to your new home. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, guys, did you notice something? We walked into the front door on the main level. Now, I don't know if, for those of you who actually live in Maryland, DC and Virginia and live in a townhome, when you walk into your townhome level, you usually have a flight of stairs that take you up to your main level, or you usually have a set of stairs, your door takes you into your basement level. Well, DR Horton did something really interesting where they literally have an above grade open door situation that brings you directly to the main level. Now, let's get in to this home. Of course, it's open concept, open concept, so fully interactive space. We have gorgeous quartz countertops, brushed nickel handles on your white shaker cabinets, stainless steel appliances, absolutely gorgeous, with a deep, I mean, this thing can take two turkeys, my goodness, a deep farm sink, absolutely massive. This island is huge. It is perfect for hosting, it is for your informal dining, great for homework, for the kids, I mean, all of it, and, you even have the option of adding a deck or an outdoor space as well. Now, let's take you to your living and family space. So this is your living and family space. And honestly, guys, I can see it. Enjoy it, guys. You can, having that meeting with your girlfriends where you guys are having a kiki, and then you bring your party to your formal dining room perfectly set and placed. Guys, all of these rooms perfectly interact. This is perfect for hosting. Now, I heard that there is a really awesome basement or man cave around here. Where's my husband? AD. A AD? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> AD. It's my turn. All right, come on, let's go, check it out. <laughs> All right guys, we are now in the basement. This basement is 28 feet wide, so this can be a number of things, right? This could be your flex space, this could be your man cave, the she shed, it could be the entire family area. So we're gonna take a tour. So you have your open flex space here, and also you actually have an unfinished bedroom, right? This is how big this basement is. So you have the option to actually be able to finish this out. And if you look to my left, you also actually have rough-ins for a bathroom. So this could be that room, you know, when you have family over and you just want to kind of tuck them away, this exactly is the room for you. And just extra storage for the Christmas tree. I'm going to take you to Amanda. You know, she's really great at this so she can finish the rest of the tour and show you what upstairs looks like. Let's go. Amanda! Amanda! Oh! 
Well, I'm right here. Now let's take you to the bedroom levels. Come on. It's the sanctum. It's the quiet space. It's the space that separates living from leisure. Now, we're in our open hallway right here. This is our landing straight off the stairs. And immediately to my left is your washer and dryer room on the bedroom level. Great space and perfect for two side-by-side -side washer and dryer. Let me take you to your secondary bedroom and then I will take you to the other bedrooms further down the hallway. Well, look at this, a full bath. Dual sinks, quartz countertops, shaker cabinets, tile on the floor with a commode room and a shower vanity. Absolutely gorgeous. And we have another full. Guys, are you taking in the space of these rooms? I mean, my goodness, huge. Absolutely huge. Now, I'm not the tallest person in the world, I'm not the biggest person in the world, but my goodness, you know one thing that buyers have a challenge with is the size of the secondary bedrooms. And I'm with you on that. And this is here. The, here, it's perfect. You have full-size bedrooms. You know I always save the best for last. Come. Guys, welcome to the owner's suite. This is a massive king size bed. Huge. Honestly, I need like some sort of mechanism to get on top of this bed because I'm not that tall. <laughs> but this is absolutely huge and it still has room for a full size chest and drawer set. These two 36 inch side tables with massive lamps. All the furniture is here is large formatted. Absolutely gorgeous and yes, it does have an ensuite with two sinks and a shower and a massive walk-in closet. Oh yes. This is where I stay. This is where I stay. I don't need anything else. <laughs> this is absolutely gorgeous. It is his and hers, but I think there was a minor faux pas in the planning of this building. This is just hers. Now, we this house has everything, right? I talked about bedrooms, we talked about basements, but we didn't talk about the office. Now guys, I do have a surprise for you. Yes, there is now a final fourth bedroom on the top level that has been staged to be an office. So yes, you have four whole bathrooms, a full bath that feeds those bedrooms, and then of course the owner suite with its own ensuite, all on the bedroom level, all the rooms connect to each other with a walk-in closet. That's a walk-in closet in here. So guys, so in this room, this is actually gonna be your fifth bedroom, right? Because we have four upstairs. And also, this can actually live as your in-law suite because you have reference for a full bathroom. Now, let's say there's a lot of bedrooms and that's too much for you. You can actually leave it as a flex space. So this can be an office. It could be a playroom. It could even be a workout room. I'm just gonna leave it up to your imagination. All right, let's go join me for the rest. Well guys, welcome to the Royal. It's not really that royal. Ooh, you can hear <laughs> hammers hitting and all sorts of things. It's kind of dusty around here. And all the way down. It's not done. We are the first to capture the royal on camera. Now, we need to give it that uh, double glory. Yes. You know, when it's staged and everything looks good. Mm. Let me get some magic. <laughs> That's what we need. John? John, John, here, I need magic, please. Na magic stat, fingers, thank you. John, you didn't hear me. <laughs> you didn't hear me. Let me try it again. I'm gonna count you off, okay? Three, two, one. What the heck? <laughs> did he? Outfit change. She did the Outfit house? Change. <laughs> she did the house, he did, what the heck? What, okay. <laughs> John, a little bit of too much magic. But guys, welcome to your home. And I will see you in voiceover. The Royal Model, starting at $579,990. This three-story, three-bed, two-and-a-half bath 
mega townhouse, has a two-car garage, and is maxing out at 2,471 square feet, and even has the option of a rec room slash fourth bedroom. It has all the requirements of the modern homeowner with all the looks and feels. But of course, I don't have to tell you. Just set up your tour and see it for yourself. All right, guys, we have finished our tour here at the Fairways oh, man. by D.R. Horan. So let's just do a quick recap. So this is a 62 home townhome community, right? Um, that's not a lot of homes. No. We're anticipating that's going to be over towards the end of the year. Yeah, they're going to sell out quickly, guys, just to be honest. Yeah, and they have two models. We have the bigger model, which is the Crofton, which is almost 3,000 square feet, and the Royal model, which is the smaller model, around 2,400 square feet. And honestly, that's not fair. Royal, Royal is not that small. It's, it's it's not that small at all. <laughs> it's, it's almost it's three bedrooms upstairs and an option for a four bedroom in the basement. So and, you're right. the, and two car garage is massive. When you when you book your appointment to go and see it, you'll see it for yourself. <laughs> now, with that being said, now the Fairway Estate, the entire community itself, does have three builders. It has DR Horton, it has DRB for single family homes, and it also has K Hovanian for single family homes, which we all, we personally have relationships with all three of them. That's a good thing for you. With that being said, how are you going to get in to see a tour for? yourself you're gonna have two options here so you are gonna go to info at the group.com info at the group.com to email us directly or you can go in the description box below and there will be a link book tour now there will be a link for you to be able to book a tour for yourself and of course meet us in person oh hey that'd be so cool hi okay guys well that pretty much covers it again like and subscribe and of course comment below which was your favorite model was it the crofton mm -hmm. was it the royal comment crofton comment royal we would love to hear from you we are your favorite real estate couple amanda ad and until next time guys bye